High blood pressure, or hypertension, affects almost half of adults in the United States, but only about 25% of people have it under control. You can't always trust the advice out there. They might just be rumors. So in this video, we're going to separate some of those rumors and myths from the truths. Myth number one, I would notice if my blood pressure is high. No, actually you probably wouldn't. High blood pressure is also known as the silent killer since most people who have it don't actually have any symptoms. Rarely, people may have headaches or chest pain or shortness of breath. But these signs might only occur when the blood pressure is already dangerously high. I think I'm going to say this over a thousand times in my life, but checking blood pressure regularly is the only way to know whether it's high or not. Myth number two, hypertension is not a serious disease. No, that's false. High blood pressure is super serious and can cause irreversible damage to the body over time. Let me tell you why. First, high blood pressure increases the pressure of blood flowing through the arteries, which damages your artery lining. This damage can narrow or clog your blood vessels, and when this happens in the brain, it can lead to a stroke. High blood pressure also increases the risk of chest pain, irregular heartbeat, and also heart attack. Not to mention, blood is 100% filtered by your kidneys. When the blood pressure leading into your kidneys is high, this can damage the delicate filters in the kidneys leading to kidney failure. Myth number three, high blood pressure runs in my family. There's nothing I can do to prevent it. That's false. Don't lose hope that easily. A family history of hypertension doesn't mean you're going to get it, but it does increase your risks. Besides genetics, families living in one household usually share similar stress levels and have similar diets. These two factors are a better indicator of your risk than just genetics alone. But if you do have a family history, here's what you could do. Check both your morning and your evening blood pressure just to keep an eye on it. Follow a healthy eating pattern and be active five days a week and lose weight if needed. And of course, definitely quit smoking. Myth number four, my doctor always checks my blood pressure, so I don't need to check it at home. That's not true at all. The American Heart Association recommends home monitoring for all people with high blood pressure to help the doctor know if treatments are working. Checking blood pressure multiple times a day will also help catch those sneaky times when blood pressure might be peaking or when medications might be wearing off. When you check your blood pressure at the same time every day, you'll get a clearer idea of how it rises and falls over time. But when you check it multiple times a day, like morning, afternoon, and night, you will learn how different triggers in your life will affect your blood pressure. Myth number five, I don't use salt, so I can eat any food I want. <laughs> False. The standard recommendation is to limit sodium to about 2,300 milligrams or less per day. That's about one teaspoon of table salt. Who could eat that in just one day? Ugh, salty. Table salt is not the main source of most of our dietary sodium. Actually, over 70% of the sodium in our diets is hidden in canned and ready-made foods, cold cuts and cured meats, pizza and snacks like chips and pretzels and sauces, and even spice mixes. So when you're in the store, look at the nutrition labels and choose foods with the lowest sodium possible if you don't already. If you're not sure what foods to pick instead, take a picture of your options in the store and ask our care team what they think is best for you. Myth number six, my medication made my blood pressure normal so I can stop taking it now. False. Blood pressure medications usually take time before they start working and they also take time to leave your system when you stop taking them. So. If your blood pressure is controlled, it might simply be because the medication is just doing its job. When you stop taking the medication, blood pressure is likely to gradually rise again. And many people don't feel symptoms of high blood pressure. So while you might feel fine, 
you won't typically know if your blood pressure is changing. So it might still wear down your heart and other organs without you even knowing it. Myth number seven, white coat hypertension doesn't exist. Mm -mm, that's false. White coat hypertension happens when your blood pressure in the doctor's office is higher than when it is at home. It's a common phenomenon and is worrisome because it might cause a doctor to overprescribe medications without having enough information. So check your BP at home often and show your doctor. Another misdiagnosis to watch out for is the reverse of white coat hypertension. It's called masked hypertension. Around 30% of the population have this. So it's actually more common than white coat hypertension. This means that blood pressure in the doctor's office is lower than the patient's home readings. Now, this might lead to a patient being prescribed less medications than they really need. So if you go home and your blood pressure is higher than the doctor's office, please just check it more often to be sure. Whew, that was a lot of information, right? Now, go ahead and test your blood pressure right now. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Unified Care team. See you later. I hope you like this video. Go ahead and scroll through our website or our Unified Care app for more information about chronic conditions, vitals monitoring, and general nutrition and wellness. See you again soon!